Hey Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading for November 2021. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. I've also started to post the weeklies for November. So if you're interested in those, you can check out that playlist. Let's see though, what's happening here for Scorpio? For November, happy birthday to all my November Scorpios. What is going on here for a Scorpio? All right. We have number three, calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. Um, and then we have number 23, shamanic journey, purpose, attunement, and vision quest. So 3 and 23. At the bottom of the deck, we have 43, which is um, sacred purpose, eternal flame, ancestral legacy. So there's almost like a finding a peace within because it's like you're on this journey or you know where you're going. It's like you have a vision for something here of what it is that you want to do or what it is that you want to go towards or move towards or create in your life okay um and so it's like there's a sense of like it's like this peace comes from within and you're creating it for yourself it's not an external uh source here we have another number 23 so 23 is twice here which is, this always reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune, which is, it's called the Fortune's Wheel. <laughs> Luck and right timing. So, um, and then at the bottom, we have the crossing initiation number 54. Y some of you are stepping into this like portal. There's a portal here on this card. Um, we're crossing a bridge here that's kind of a little bit dicey. It uh, looks like it could crumble almost, but I feel like you're stepping into something here. It's like the right time to be moving through. Some of you, this is just like a healing journey that you're going through. There's like a divine timing of for what it is that you're stepping into. It's like you're in the beginning phases of it and then it's going to start to move forward. So let's see what this is about here for you, Scorpio. It fe I feel like it. you know it's the right thing. Whatever you're stepping into, it feels good to you. It, it feels like the right thing to do. So let's see. What is going on for Scorpio here for November? We have the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The Ten of Cups. The Fool. The Two of Cups. The King of Swords. Uh, six of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So we have, um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign or a uh, water, or, sorry, an Earth sign or an Air sign. Uh, but we kind of have everything here. I feel like, um... There's a sense of like knowing that something's meant for you. There's there's definitely relationship energy here. We have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. So I do see a connection here for you. Some of you, this could be new love, especially with the um, Ace of Cups and the Fool. It could be an air sign. But for a lot of you, what I'm getting is like, you know that this is the right thing to step into. You know this is the right, like the initiation. It's like, you know that you're ready for this you also know that this is the right thing to move towards it's like that there's a divine timing i feel like what if, if you've been trying to decide about what to do in a situation and this could be coming up for you remember november when as i'm releasing this will be the 31st of october so it hasn't happened yet uh but there's kind of this like um if you don't know what to do it's like i feel like whatever you choose is going to be successful but there's almost like taking this leap of faith, but knowing it's the right thing to do. The fool is giving me this energy of like having faith that this is divine. You know what I mean? Like that it's meant for you. We have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands here. There's like a divine union, a soulmate connection here. Love is definitely here. Um, and it's almost like not wanting to miss the opportunity. 
This Four of Cups is interesting here, okay? I feel like there could be other offers, but I feel like there's there's one specifically. Some of you may feel as though, like some someone, I'm not sure if this is you or not, this King of Swords, but it's like some of you could be trying to be a little detached from this situation. But there is some sort of love situation coming up here. So let's see what this is all about for you, Scorpio. Uh, let's see what this Two of Pentacles is in the beginning here. Let's see what this Two of Pentacles is all about. What is this Two of Pentacles for Scorpio in November here? What is this Two of Pentacles? King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Lovers. So the King of Pentacles is here. What's behind him? We got the Moon and the Hierophant. I almost feel like someone could be hiding the fact that they want a relationship. There's somebody definitely coming, there's somebody coming forward, okay? Um, bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands, but it's almost like there's a there's a not sure or a debating on like, should I, should I come forward, should I not? Do I come forward, do I not? Um, this could be you or this could be the person who's coming towards you. For some of you, this person, like you might not have met this person yet, but there is this like union energy. Why the four of wands here? Let's see how this all pieces itself together here. Yeah, two of swords is clarifying the four of wands. There's still this kind of like block, restriction, burden. Okay, there's like 10 of wands here. Why the 10 of cups? 10 of wands gonna come out again, but why the 10 of cups? Two of wands, yeah, it's not here yet. There's something, it's like it's on its way. Ten of, um, sorry, two of wands and the queen of pentacles. So there is this kind of like, there's this union, there's this match, right? But I almost feel like either you haven't met this person yet or they haven't come forward yet. There's some sort of distance or separation between the two of you. Maybe a block still of the, the fact that the two of you aren't in union yet. Why the fool? Clarify the fool here for Scorpio. the eight of cups and then there's these cards that came out nine of swords the tower and the knight of cups yeah someone may and then we have the sun the hierophant someone's walking away from one connection but they're worried and stressed about moving forward maybe they've they've been i kind of feel like there's a person here and you'll have to decipher whether this is you or this other person Someone's emotionally distant. Like, I feel like someone's trying to avoid a connection almost. They really want to come forward, but then there's a part of them that has fear around this. I don't know if it's going to really change their life. Like, maybe they have been single for a long time and that kind of, um, you know, maybe is scary that they are going to have to kind of take a bit of a risk or a leap of faith. Some of, some of them could also be worried about rejection or you could be worried about rejection if you're making a move towards someone here. Why the Two of Cups for Scorpio? We have Temperance and the, yeah, the Knight of, or sorry, Temperance and the Nine of Pentacles. So someone's been single is what I'm getting. And because even the King of Swords is a single card, the Fool is a single card, like free on their own. And now it's like having to come together with someone, Temperance. This could happen in, um, there's a lot of Sagittarius energy here. You're the, maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart or maybe it could be on the cusp or... This could happen through in through Sagittarius season as well, but someone's resisting this connection because of being either emotionally not available, even though they want this, or they've been single that it's it's like they maybe don't know what to do. King of Swords here, yeah, the Death card. So this so for a lot of you, this is you because Death is Scorpionic energy. Maybe some of you have been single for a while and you're like, I don't know how to get myself back out there. Six of wands, okay? But I feel like there's a specific person, could be an earth sign. We also have Gemini and Sagittarius. It's like going into a relationship would be a very big change. 
and I feel like it's what you want, but it's also, it's a big transition. Um, I feel like you're kind of maybe transitioning into this, or I feel like you're kind of creating this or manifesting this, but some of you are like trying to figure out, if, is this what I want? Do I want a relationship? Do I, you know, how does this change my journey and my path? And do I see this for myself moving forward? And peaceful self-regulation is giving me that energy of being on your own. You've always done things on your own and to bring another person into your situation may feel um, scary because it's different, right? It's just not, you're not used to it. If you've been single for a long time or you've never maybe allowed people to get close to you, but I feel like there's something about this person or this connection or the, even the type of connection that you're looking for that you do really want it. There's a part of you that really does want to be a part of this connection, but it's almost like you'd maybe tell yourself you don't. It's almost like the front that you put up. Why the six of wands for Scorpio here? We have the strength card, which is Leo energy. Six of wands is also Leo. Then we have the three of wands. Yeah, there's a sense of like holding back. What's this Ace of Cups? The moon. Ace of Cups is clarified by the moon, wherever it went. There it is. You're holding back how you feel. Justice. There's, again, there's like this strong, there is a strong emotional energy here. Ace of Cups. And the moon but it's almost like having to tap into the feelings tap into the intuition the six of wands and is a jupiter and leo card and so it's it's expansion getting noticed recognition almost like people paying attention to you because it's victory after a battle so it's like celebrating your success this is also like a card of six of wands can be an ego card as well but it's almost like you're holding back with the strength card taming your ego and um it's like not almost like not allowing yourself to be recognized or to be seen okay this part of you that does want a relationship you're holding that in part of you that does want the union the relationship it's like you're holding that in why the four of cups here and i almost feel like the opportunity is here for you but you're holding back on it that's what this four of cups is giving me that ace of cups is here but you're not you're not going towards it Maybe some of you are missing it because, yeah, there's again the hermit energy. So being single, magician energy, being single, being on your own. Some of you have manifested an opportunity here for you, but you have to, I kind of feel like there's a person in your energy that is triggering this. It's like somebody comes into your life at this time wheel of fortune they're they're here for a reason some of you this is like triggering the relationship side of you where it's like okay do i want a relationship do, and now i gotta open up to these people or this person and now i gotta like express myself and i gotta do i want a relationship i've always been single or i've i like the single life or you know the single life works for me because i've been able to avoid <laughs> relationships so there's some sort of like i feel like this has to do with a healing process like even if you don't end up with this person this person is triggering a part of you that needs to be healed when it comes to relationships and connection it's like initiating something it's triggering something okay we have overflow behind that was which is an emotional card overwhelm and plenty so it's triggering your emotional body whatever the situation is whoever this situation is with it doesn't even like i said you don't even have to end up with this person it's just this situation that's triggering an aspect Maybe that, again, with the Hermit card, it needs to be healed. It needs to be looked at, right? So let's see what your, um, let's see what your uh, advice is. So we got two cards. We got Giraffe. The bigger picture, take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. And then we got Otter, Initiations. You got two Initiation cards. Um, be open through this transitional time. There's a divine timing element here. 
but there is a bigger picture it's not about the it's not about the person it's not about the relationship it's like what it's how it's triggering you how you're healing how this affects your journey and where you're going in life it, it's like a deeper it's not just so like surface level at the bottom of the deck here we have ladybird luck uh all of your manifestation positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard so there's a divine timing here element of like you're being exposed to something because you're going through a change you're you're in being initiated uh into a situation and going through changes and it this is this situation is triggering you to see the bigger picture so that you can make decisions and, and go through this change and this transformation because we have the death card here as well so this is like it's deeper than just like oh who's this person what are they doing do i like them like it's more than that it's like why am i not open to this why what's what's preventing me from stepping into this and i think it's 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 triggering something that you have to go within and really figure out because it's something deeper something deeper emotionally so that is what i have for you scorpio hopefully that resonates for you guys uh let me know down below if not you can check out your signs but i hope you guys have a wonderful november and i'll see you all in the next one bye